Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is Steph, I just wanna give you a walkthrough of my planner for July. I just started getting it set up. We're in uh, the last week of June right now, so we still got a few more days. Usually I just flip through it and put some music over it, but I decided to just walk you through a little bit of the pages that I started setting up. So this is the Silk and Sonder Passion um, planner for July. That's its theme this month. There's a different theme every month because it is a planner subscription. So you get a new one um, about the first or second week before um, the start of a new month, which is really nice if you like fresh starts, if you're somebody that, you know, gets sick of your planner or, you know, gets mad when they have to like, cross things out and doesn't like it looking messy. This is really nice because a new one comes every single month, which I think is great. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So if you are at all interested in this planner, we do have a affiliate link that will be in the description box and you get 25% off. And they have, you can do it month to month. I think they have a six month or a year long um, subscription that you can choose from. So now that we got into all of that, let me show you what some of these inside pages look like and how I sort of adapt that for my witchcraft practice. So these are what the beginning pages look like. There's always this index of all of the pages and there's like a note section so you can uh, add your own index if you needed to. Uh, there's always instructions. There's always the 2020 calendar overview and then the month spread. So for July, I note that the full moon is on the 5th and the new moon is on the 20th. Those are really the only two sort of moon cycles that I really work with. Um, I don't do too much any other time. And then we have this great future log. It's always got the next four months. I don't use it too much. I just kind of like to know which Sabbaths are coming up. Obviously, Wamas in August, Mavon in September, Samhain in October. Um, but otherwise, I haven't been using this, these two uh, future log pages too much. Next up, they have a reflections page for um, end of the month before. I have not filled this out yet. And then they have this intentions page where you are supposed to set intentions and goals for the upcoming month. Uh, they have six different sections, spiritual health, personal life, physical health, key relationships, money management, and professional goals. And the way I like to use this page is that I actually do a tarot card pull um, for each of those sections. So you can see I already like wrote in which ones that I pulled. This right here is the deck that I use. Um, this is from a company called The Threads of Fate and I love it. It's got this like great gold foiling. You can see that on the sides. They're really beautiful cards. Uh, I think this is the Journeyer deck it's called. So these are kind of just um, little notes for how the month is going to go. And you can see that I already pulled, I pulled the anchor for spiritual health, which should be interesting. And I just like to get a monthly overview this way. I think it's really interesting that there are so many major arcana cards in here. Um, Anchor, Hermit, Justice, I say is only two minor, which is crazy because there's only 22 total uh, Major Arcana cards and 56 minor. So um, interesting that I got so many of those. So uh, nothing too negative on the month ahead. Some look very interesting, so we're gonna see how that goes. Sometimes I just use these pages to mark these down and kind of see how it's going to go. And then sometimes I set goals related to the card. So for example, this one on professional goals, the high sage. Um, the high sage is also is often telling you not to uh, make any big moves. It's a time of stillness and reflection. So in the professional area, I wouldn't set any goals of, you know, starting a new job or anything like that. This isn't the time for making big moves like that. So I would set, you know, goals related to being still and self-reflection and things like that. So uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to set any goals like that for this month, we will see. They always have some form of mood tracker. It looks a little different every month. 
uh, you color in these circles. I just used uh, some colored pencils that I have, and then you fill in the six different moods. I really like being able to track this because it's uh, interesting to see sort of how moon cycles, days of the week, um, all of those things kind of reflect my mood. And then also, of course, my sleep cycle when I track that, see how my mood is the next day. And then they have this habit tracker. It always looks like this every month where you can fill out these habits here and then check them off each day. So right now my only habits that I have in here are to drink 100 ounces of water every day and to go on a daily walk, um, which even if the weather doesn't cooperate, we have a treadmill, so I can definitely get that done. So I'll have to see which other ones I want to add. But I do find it helpful to have a space to check it off every single day because I'm sort of a checklist person in general. Over here is this log. They have a space for every single day and the theme of it changes every month. Um, so it could be something that you're thankful for this um, month. Since the theme is passion, it's a passion log, something that brings you extra joy, excitement, or pleasure each day. But I generally don't use it for that. I use it for pulling a daily Oracle card. I also have a separate Oracle deck from the Threads of Fate that I really like and I, like to pull a card each day just to see what's coming that day and um, I like having a place to track all of them to kind of see what came up over the month and if I got a couple of the same cards over and over again and to just see if they were accurate. This page always changes. Um, this wheel of life um, I've seen here before where you rank them between 1 and 10 um, based on how filled you feel in that area of your life so it just gives you like a good overview to see which areas you might want to be working in. These two pages are also always different. Um, this month is the ideal life exercise. My ideal life is when, and then when I live my ideal life, I feel like, so you just, you know, encouraging you to pursue your passions. And same here with this passion jar is, you know, looking back in your childhood, what did you enjoy back then that you can cultivate in your time now? Here are a few more journaling prompts. And this month is Word Search. I sometimes have um, bingo or something. It's just like a fun little game page. And they always have a coloring page that's different every month. And there is always a different quote here. Another part of this that I really love is that they always have two different uh, ingredients, or <laughs> ingredients of recipes um, each month. And I have loved all of them. This is, I think, the first month that I've gotten in a while that actually has something with meat. They're usually vegetarian. Um, so John will have to try this since uh, I don't eat meat. He'll have to try this chicken one. Let me know how it is, but um, they are always delicious. And there are two notes pages after that. And then it gets into another quote and then it has a monthly expense tracker, which I always use. After that, you get into the actual week's setup. So the, it starts with this calendar over here, weekly to do, um, it has a separate space for habits that you want to do every day, a space for three major goals, a meal planning section, um, a mind and body health plan section, shopping list, and then a space to record a great food memory and song. And then after that, you get the actual spread of the weeks. So up here they have, you know, one thing, maybe one thing that you want to note that day. And this month they changed it up. They actually have a space to track the weather that's new. And then it's just sort of this grid where you can either fill out you know, time or separate it into the days, really however you want to do it. And then Saturday and Sunday is split into two there. And then it's got two more note pages and then it repeats the same pattern every week. And after the second week is this currently page. And that's how it goes through until the end. And then there's a couple notes pages at the end. So that is what this Silk and Sonder planner looks like. That's kind of how I use and set it up at the beginning of the month to incorporate some of uh, my witchcraft practices, get those in there. But if you would like to see what this looks like sort of halfway through the month or at the end of the month, once I've got it all filled out, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely make that happen. Otherwise, I will see you next month for August. Bye!